No Moon, No Milk. By Chris Babcock and illustrated by Mark Teague. When Rob came to milk his cow one early morning, he found her udder was dry and her eyes were wet. Martha, you're crying. Are you sick? Rob asked. Yes, sick of being a cow. It's eat grass, get milked, eat grass, get milked. Martha drew in a quivering breath. I want to do more than just cow around in a pasture all my life. Well, where else would you like to cow around? Rob asked as he looked into his empty bucket. I want to go to the moon, Martha announced. You can only go to the moon if you're an astronaut, said Rob. Or a cow's monot, Martha declared. I'm not sure they let cattle into the space program, Rob said. My great-great-great-grandmother jumped over the moon. If she can jump it, I can walk on it. But I never promised you the moon, Rob said. Now do me a favor and let down some milk. Martha shook her head back and forth, flinging her tears through the air. No moon, no milk, she bellowed. Rob knew there was no way to take Martha to the moon, so he took her to Venice Beach in Southern California instead. Hang ten, Martha, Rob shouted. Do you know there's not a single drop of water for surfing on the moon? Cows don't surf, Martha said. I know, I know, said Rob. No moon, no milk. No moon, no milk, Martha confirmed. But Rob knew there was no way to take Martha to the moon. So instead, he took to cr her to Crater Lake National Park in Oregon. Look, Martha, a real crater, Rob said. I bet the craters on the moon are much more mysterious, Martha grumbled. But Martha, a cow won't fit in a space capsule, Rob cried. No moon, no milk, said Martha. I'm telling you. Look at that. So cool. Rob knew he couldn't take Martha to the moon, so instead he took her to Radio City Music Hall in New York City. How do you get her on the plane? Look, Martha, it's the rockets, Rob said. Rockets? Where are the rockets? Martha asked, craning her neck. Not rockets, Martha. Rockets! And you can bet there's no dancing like that on the moon. I don't want to dance on the moon. I just want to walk on it, Martha wailed. And she took off down the aisle and out the doors. And she cried, if you won't take me to the moon, I'll go there myself. Rob threw up his hands in frustration and ran after his stampeding cow. When he saw that she was heading to Central Park, he hopped on a bus, hoping to head her off downtown. Meanwhile, Martha caught up to a passel of skaters darting through the park. Excuse me, could you direct me to the moon? Martha asked as she trotted along. Follow this path and hang a left at the fountain, said a skater. Martha mooed her thanks and galloped on. Rob had just gotten off the bus across from the American Museum of Natural History when Martha rounded the corner and came to her complete hoof-sliding halt in front of him. <gasps> a science museum, she, Martha moaned. What on earth can a cow do in a science museum? Well, there's a replica of the lunar surface you can walk on, Rob offered. <gasps> Martha was already across the street and through the front doors before Rob finished his sentence. Restrain that bovine, a guard cried as Mal Martha galloped by. I hope this works, says Rob as he borrowed a space helmet from a display case and ran after his cow. To the lunar surface. Meanwhile, La Martha had lost the guard in the domesticated animals exhibit. I swear I saw a cow run through here, said the guard. Hmm... I don't see any cow. No. no. As soon as the crowd and the guard had disappeared, Martha headed for the moon. Rob was waiting for her with a space helmet. I pronounce Martha Bovine a true cosmonaut, Rob said as he slipped the helmet on her head. Then Rob unhooked the red rope that hung across the path of the lunar surface and bowed. As Martha put her first hoof on the moon, she said, one small step for cow, one giant leap for cow kind.
Martha had walked all the way over to where the American flag was planted when the guard finally found them. Cow on the moon! Cow on the moon! The guard shouted. There's the cow on the moon. Run back to Earth, Martha, Rob yelled, and they both ran through the museum and the back the back, back exit, leaving a breathless guard far behind. Zoop. So, how was it like to cow around on the moon, Martha? Rob asked as he squirted milk into his bucket the next morning. Yeah, it was okay, said Martha. Okay, said Rob. Just okay? Yes, now I know why my great-great-great-grandmother didn't stop to cow around up there. Why? asked Rob. Well, there's no grass, Martha said. The end. <laughs>